Hello and welcome. It is 1st of December, meaning season 8's uh, Vlogmas will start today. Um, yes, uh, this podcast, a little mini podcast, will come up every Wednesday and Friday, uh, Sunday, I'm sorry. And there will be one episode in English and one episode in Finnish. Um, or basically the same stuff in two different languages. But I still want to keep up the Finnish stuff because that's like my kind of main thing with my podcast. So, um, but yes, welcome on board. Um, hold on tight and hope you have fun following my Christmas preps. And despite looking like I am about to go outside, I'm not. It's just really, really cold in my apartment. Because when it's windy and rainy, it's basically windy and rainy inside as well. So I'm just well uh, wooled up <laughs> so that I don't freeze while I work. It's time to start putting up some Christmas decorations. I still got my Halloween slash autumn ones here. And I'm just gonna replace them with winter stuff, but some of it needs cleaning, so I'm gonna start with that. And then I also bought some new lights to replace the old sad ones. So I'm gonna also put them up. Then I also have this placement thing um, it is made by my mom I mean this is made by my mom and these three represent me and my sister and, and our sister from another mister uh, so I really want to keep them there but I'm gonna remove the pumpkins and put something more Christmassy on board it's really bad light here but um, I'm just gonna deal with it today and then maybe tomorrow I'll get something better So I'm really happy with it and um, yeah I just need to go buy those things you use to put um, wires to the wall and I will nail it up there but other than that I'm really happy to go to the hardware shop tomorrow anyway it's already closed today because it's uh, restrictions and everything closes at 5 so but it looks pretty I'm very happy so I would still need to figure out something figure out something with these. It's currently looking like this inside. But I would need to come up with something wintry to add. They had little I think it's pine cones in there before. But now it's the just the mushrooms left because they're a finished thing during winter. I mean Christmas. So the mushrooms are also left here and the one of the big mushrooms moved here. And the other one moved here, so I think I may putting up some something like snow or something in there. Maybe could work. Welcome, well, it's weird to say welcome when you're already halfway through, pretty much through the <laughs> through the Vlogmas video. Um, but yeah, if you made it all the way here, it means that you have uh, successfully s completed uh, Sisonet's Vlogmas episode 1. Um, yeah, I wanted to do Vlogmas this year because, um, yeah, uh, Christmas is a little bit difficult time for me because... I really, for me, Christmas is about 
two things, family and food. And my nails are really funky because I had a little accident with some yarn dye. Um, I took my glove off and at that, you know, three seconds, the world knew that I was, you know, near a blue dye without gloves. So yeah, you can guess the rest. But in, in any case, getting back to the subject, that I am not going to Finland this year. And because for me, Christmas is really wrapping the year up, uh, lighting up the darkness, because it's really, really dark, especially in December. Um, so it's kind of lighting up the darkness with some lights and nice decorations and spending time with your family and being thankful for each other and kind of giving gifts to thank you for the past year. And of course, now when I'm not home, I'm like, oh, I really miss my dad and my sister. I don't really usually miss people that much. But, you know, and for and the foremost, I miss the food. My dad and my sister can, you know, uh, call me on WhatsApp for, and I can send them a video, but I cannot taste the food by video. So it's, yeah, it's, it's difficult. But um, one of my colleagues is kind enough to send me a survival package. Usually my dad does it when I'm not in Finland for Christmas, but he's busy with my grandparents. So my colleague was kind enough to take that off his shoulder. So yeah, it's, it's going to be a weird one because it's first time uh, ever. It's just the two of us uh, because my spouse's um, grandmother, who usually is like the third wheel of our family, our little family is has passed this year so uh but we're gonna of course then do the regular visits and rounds but grandma used to get like two days or basically if there was three days of christmas she got two so she got as many days as they were just available so it's gonna be weird but this time uh around i also have time to do a finished christmas in our house so i have one day completely for to the two of us and I will cook a Christmas dinner for fi finished style. Um, my colleague is sending me some ingredients. I'm going to bake. I'm going to also do some Dutch baking. And for Christmas dinner, I'm also going to combine Dutch and Finnish tradition. So it's, it's going to be nice and cozy. But, you know, sometimes on those quiet moments in the evening, you just are like, I wish I was with my family in Finland. And we're a really tight-knit family, especially after my mom passed a few years ago. So it's, so yeah, it's, it's difficult. But I mean, I will try to find joy by making this uh, vlogmas. So how my vlogmas episodes usually are is that I will, in the beginning, there's some music, there's some small cuts from the day, what I've been up to, and then in the end, there's a section of me, a little bit of a blabber version. So basically, for those who are not who just look for the kind of like the mood and the atmosphere they can just like hop off the wagon at that point and those who want to hear me blabber a little bit can stay a little bit longer so that's pretty much it i'll try to keep this quite short sometimes i've noticed that i can talk for like 20 minutes straight without without even getting a dry mouth so um there's that so my plans for the vlogmas is i'm sorry uh i got some little kits that i can make for uh some decorations because i don't really have any deco uh i've been a lot of christmas and fin christmases in finland and we mostly just celebrated our grandma so we didn't really decorate our own house but this year i want to go full you know full ham as my <laughs> boyfriend says and um just go for it you know uh what i'm what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna yeah, so I'm going to post Wednesdays and Sundays. Uh, then you'll see what I've been up to during the week. Mostly just, yeah, yeah decorating. Uh, I like to do a lot of, like, arts and crafts apart cr apart from knitting as well. So you'll see that. I'm going to do some baking. I'm going to do some cooking. So it's, it's yeah, we'll see. Um, I really, I really enjoy the season because it's so much, like, it's, like, cozy and nice and burning candles and, or, well, lit candles in our house because I don't want to burn it down. Uh, with my karma, you should not use regular candles <laughs> in a wooden house, in a wooden frame house, so, so that's that. But, yeah, currently I'm working on a, it's going to be Tinta class this, uh, uh, Sunday uh, we only give a small we give small gifts because I think it's cozy to just like be able to give some gifts my boyfriend doesn't really care for Santa Claus but I'm like of course if there's a, a possibility to give out some gifts we will do that so uh, I'm knitting him a Oslo hat because he requested one 
and we went down to the local yarn shop to choose the yarn it is cool big melange so there's also non melange version and that's where my i have it already has like dog hair and stuff but this is from for my dad uh a christmas gift it's quite dark in here so just a basic it's called basket weave so just pearl knit one knit two pearl two th well just knit and pearl stitch it's a free pattern i will link it down below if i remember but yeah i already have one christmas gift ready uh the Santa Claus gift needs to be this hat needs to be done by Sunday, which is no problem, because this is like basically. Let's just say. Forty-five minutes of knitting. I'm quite a fast knitter when it's just stuck in it. So, so that's that. But yeah, I'm trying to squeeze this out. I actually bought him a coffee maker for Santa Claus, but our own coffee maker caught fire. So. I have to um, give it to him already. It has a timer, so I don't have to make him coffee in the morning because the first time ever we're awake at the same time. And what he doesn't get is that 7.30, I don't want to talk to you. I don't want you to look at me. I just want to sit by my desk with a cup of tea and just stare at the screen. So when he's like, Anna, can you make me a cup of coffee? I'm like, dude, no. So now I put it on a timer when we wake up. So he has a fresh cup of coffee waiting for him. And I don't have to cook it, make it for him. So, win-win. And our old machine was very... It sounded like an airplane taking off uh, when it uh, when it started cooking. But yeah. Uh, that's it for me today. Uh, I hope you will enjoy this. I, I think how it looks like now and how it will look in 24 days. Uh, after filming a little bit every day. And trying to like really pop into that cinema cinematography. Cinematography. <laughs> cinematographics i don't know what it you know you know what it means by taking cool videos it might look a little bit different than it does today so i hope i'll also learn something about like editing like uh cozy videos while i'm here so see you around uh see you sunday and then it's going to be Santa Claus in the netherlands so until then bye